and welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Super Meat Boy. This is going to be the character special. So we are joined by everybody that you will be seeing today. We are going to go for Nutshell here with uh, Meat Boy just as a benchmark for what everybody else can do. Uh, just, you know, a quick demonstration of Meat Boy, how he works, how fast he is, how far he jumps. He is pretty damn good. He's a general badass. So we are going to show him in all his forms. And in order to do that, I actually do need to leave to the back in order to get this done, which kind of bothers me. Uh, let's go for 8-Bit Meat Boy. It works pretty much the same. Even though he looks like he's running slower, he does not. Same speed, same everything, just lower definition. Very, very simple. I might even beat my time here today. Uh, let's go for four color meat boy. He works pretty much the same, same speed, same everything. It's just that he is on the game boy. Did I beat my time? That was pretty close. I did by 0.2 seconds with four bit meat boy. Go for, oh sorry, four color meat boy, not four bit. This is four bit meat boy. And once again, the same, the same. Everything is the same with all the Meat Boys. Now, I am going to uh, cut the video here so that I can go to the right level to show off all the different characters. And I'll meet you when we can do that. We are in the hospital, Chapter 2, and we're showing off Alien Hominid. Uh, now, Alien Hominid, he does have a blaster. However, I wanted to show off here that it does not take out your enemies. It, in fact, boosts his... Uh, jump just slightly however his jump is not where it needs to be anyway um, I, I do struggle with him at times he's not the, the easiest to control he's a little bit slower a little bit less of a jump he can technically if you time the the shot right jump higher than anybody else however I struggle with that at times but he is able to complete this very simple world here this very simple level and that is alien hominid uh not my favorite but he he does work he does work at the end of the day and that's all that's really important it is hard to time that shot though it is definitely hard to time Next up we have Ogmo. Ogmo is here at one of the first levels that we took on. This is the gap. Mind it! And he's barely able to do that. Uh, thanks. Yeah, he, he cannot jump as far as Super Meat Boy. However, he makes up for that with a double jump. So he can technically go higher than Meat Boy, I think. Uh, he has a very low jump. Uh, however, he can double jump. And there you go! Ogmo. We have seen him before, of course, when we had to use him in order to get him, but that is his ability. Next up, we have the Head Crab from Half-Life. Now, the Head Crab can move pretty fast, not that fast, but pretty fast considering it is a crab after all. His special ability, its special ability, I guess I should say, is to stick on walls. And as you can see, uh, if I hold down the run button, he'll stick up there faster. If I let it go, then he kind of falls normal speed. So should I desire, I can take advantage of that. Now, he has one very special ability here. We can jump up here. And if I hold down the run button, he can stick on the ceiling too. That is quite useful in some levels, but not all. Uh, it is hard for me to find a use for him, to be honest with you. Um, I, it's hard to balance between when I want to stick and when I want to just jump up and slide and all that kind of stuff. It's hard to, to judge that. But, if nothing else, we can follow him, Bandage Girl, just like the game. And that is Head Crab. He's decent, but he's by far uh, very limited in, in what you can use him for. Next up, we have the kid. Love him or hate him, he is here without his cape. Uh, he's pretty much a little bit slower uh, than Meat Boy. He can't jump nearly... Well, he can jump about the same distance. He barely makes the gap jump, uh, but his special ability here is the double jump, which I think we all know. He just doesn't have his gun. He can't shoot, but the double jump is what makes him very, very useful. Without him, I probably could not have gotten four or five of the bandages that I did get. Uh, double jump is very, very useful. And 
Okay, that's a creepy way to get my girlfriend. The kid uh, was creepy indeed. Next up is Joseph from Machinarium. Um, Joseph is decent. Can you hear that? He makes a great hollow sound whenever he lands. That is awesome. Uh, his special ability is to hover. Uh, instead of like a double jump, he can hover a little bit longer. Can he make this without the hover? Uh, it was close. It was close. Let's try it again. Barely makes it, so jumps about as far as the kid, uh, but he doesn't double jump, he hovers, uh, which is nice, but Commander Video is the best hover I have seen. And he's, he's decent, but once again, limited in use. I would much rather use Meat Boy for, for most levels, to be honest with you. He, since he's fast, I'm used to his controls and all that. But Joseph is suited for a few occasions. A few. Next up is Capitan Viridian from VVV VVV. Now, Capitan cannot run. This is as fast as Capitan goes. Can he jump? He can jump decently. In fact, he jumps pretty damn high. I think that's actually higher than Meat Boy. However, VVV VVV is known most widely for what Capitan Viridian can do, which is turn the world upside down with the press of the dash button. It is very useful, however, especially on a level like this where you have to dance around. I actually cannot beat uh, my time uh, just using him. Let's wait for 40 and go. So my time before is four, would be 5.18. This is as fast as I can go. And I did not beat it. It was like 40, uh, 46, I believe. So even using quite an awesome ability, it is not necessarily built for speedruns in most maps. There are a couple where it'll work very well for you using VVV, VVV technology with Capitan Viridian, but uh, they are few and far between. Once again, Meat Boy, Meat Boy. Next up is going to be Jill from the Mighty Jill Off. Uh, I don't think I've shown this off before. It says, Air Brakes, Pervert. That is Jill, apparently. So we're back at the gap uh, because this is the best place to use Jill. Uh, pretty fast. Can we make this without, barely make it without gliding? Uh, however, glide is the special ability here. If I didn't die. Uh, it doesn't last very long, but you can tap on it and it'll help out in the long term. So it extends the jump out the entire way. What the hell about that happened fast. Uh, once again, limited in its uses. Um, very, very few times I was looking for something like that. I would much rather use a double jump uh, than the glide. I don't like tapping the button. That's just me. Next up is Fly Wrench, who has a triple jump and is heavy. Uh, the Fly Wrench, I, we have seen Fly Wrench. I had to use Fly Wrench in order to get it through the level. It does, it does only have a triple jump when you're trying to fly. Uh, however, the real ability of having Fly Wrench with you is the ability to just go straight up, which is nice. I mean, look how fast we can motor through that. I mean, hold on, I think I found a faster way. That is fast. Uh, however, the flying is incredibly wonky. I, I don't like the controls on Fly French, and I, I have not found a use for it yet, uh, to be honest with you. I haven't found a level where I'm like, this would be perfect for Fly Wrench. No, doesn't happen. So let's just get it and get the girl and move on. That is Fly Wrench. Next up, we have Steve from Minecraft. He's an architect and an arsonist because these people know how you play Minecraft. This guy is fantastic. He plays a lot like Minecraft. He's always running. He's always running. However, his special ability is to create and destroy blocks. Uh, you have to aim it in a direction. For instance, I was pressing down there, and now if I press up, I can take those away and head up and just bypass the entire puzzle. Now, if he could be used in Cotton Alley, that would be fantastic. Uh, his jumping is pretty damn good. I think he controls very similar to the way Meat Boy does. Can he actually make that jump? Yes, he can, but... I mean, by the time you get this guy, you're not in it for bandages anymore. You have to get all the bandages in the game in order to get this guy. So, really, I don't see that much of a use for him, but 
that's because of the point in the game in which you get him. Other than that, I mean, he is fantastic. You can just like, nope. <laughs> I'm not falling on those. He does make a funny sound when he makes the sound, the same sound actually in Minecraft, doesn't he? It's the same sound. And there you go, just bypass the entire freaking puzzle. Once again, if he could be used on that gauntlet level in Cotton Alley, that'd be fantastic. However, in the replays, it doesn't show uh, all the destruction and creation that you use Steve for. But once again, very useful. Wish I had him to start, but instead I have him once I don't need to beat anything anymore. Hooray! Next up we have Run Man from Run Man. He has Super Dash and he is a pill popper. Now this guy has a lot going for him and not much going against him. Uh, he runs fast. He can jump far. This is all without dashing. Uh, however, when you dash, he can go even faster. It's hard to say. I mean, this is normal speed, right? This is dashing. So, I mean, it's definitely faster, however, his dash is very limited. Uh, as you can see, I can get about two and a half uh, times through here before it wears out on me. Uh, now, here is a normal jump from him. It is damn far. That's comparable with Meat Boy. However, if I dash and jump, it goes ridiculously far. I can't, I mean, it'll go off the screen. He'll just continually be going as he dashes so if you're going for a speed run on a horizontal map this is the guy for you uh, however I don't know I'm not one for speed runs I beat the game I'm a golden god so I no longer require run men's services oh snap next up is commander video from bit trip runner he is slow there's no other way to put it this is him normal speed this is him dashing um, he jumps fairly well um, can he actually no he can't uh, but of course his uh, ability is to hover that hover uh, that's me holding it how far can it go can we go like all the way across no that it is limited how far you can go before it wears out I'm not hitting the wall there there we go uh, you can actually turn around with the hover if you desire, uh, but limited uh, because he is slow, not good for speed runs, anything like that. Uh, but he has his uses occasionally. He did give me a couple warp zones and I believe a couple bandages as well. Next up is Nigel from Aquaria. I, I'm trying to show all the ones that I have not shown here before. Uh, we have Shift Attack, and Nigel is, of course, fishy. Now, Nija, we have seen a little bit of. Nija can transform, which does mean that Nija cannot dash, which makes Nija very, very slow. And the jump, particularly, is not that great, to be honest with you. Barely makes it across there. However, the special ability to hold dash turns her into like a Super Saiyan or something, a brunette Super Saiyan, so that we can fly off into the distance. I'm not even holding like the right button here. That's just how far it goes. <sighs> Very nice ability, but limited in its uses in this game. I think I only used her uh, once or twice in order to get something, and I don't think it even worked out, to be honest with you. I think uh, I never used Nija. Just couldn't find a use for her. So let's move on. Maybe she even looks sad there, doesn't she? She's so sad that she's useless to me. And the last character on the character selection screen here is Meat Ninja. He is from the future. He can teleport, but he is rotten. Uh, using him will disable the leaderboards because teleporting is kind of not okay, uh, according to the leaderboards. Uh, but Meat Ninja here is very nice. He works the same as uh, Meat Boy. Is that thing going to die? It is. Poor, poor bunny. Except that he is always dashing. Uh, why is that? Because using the dash button at precisely the right moment will save your life. Let's see if I can do it here. No, I did not. You have to do it right on the money here. It is tough sometimes. I, I am no good at using Meat Ninja. Come on. You use the teleport. There we go. Damn it. Well, you saw that at least once there. There we go. There you can see it uh, working somewhat to my advantage. Uh, you can also do it in a direction. But like I said, it is ridiculously hard to time it. 
and I am just no good at it. Damn it, Meat Ninja. So it makes me wonder, is he really that great? But if you can work him well, then it would be worth it. But come on. Seriously, I'm like mashing the button here. There we go. And to be honest, I don't know if he's really that worth all that effort since I'm struggling so much with him and I can barely get him to work. You can teleport in a direction now. There we go. As you can see there, I teleported right through it, which is appreciated. Uh, you can teleport through obstacles if you manage it properly, but I absolutely suck with Meat Ninja. I mean, there's no other way to, for me to put it. I just, I, I can't get that timing right. I can't get the timing, and it involves going straight into obstacles, which I don't want to do. There, I did time it. I'm trying to, to time it so I can go right through it. There we go. See, that worked out well for me. Let's see if I can do it here, too. No. No, I can't. But it, he has his uses. I'm just no good at him, and I fully admit that. Uh, Meat Ninja is supposed to be the best character in the game. I'd much rather have Steve, though. Steve from Minecraft works out a lot better for me. And, nope, can't do it. Can't do it. Oh, well, but that's the Meat Ninja. Sorry, I suck with him. Lest I forget, we do have another playable character we have seen before. Bandage Girl, of course. Uh, I looked it up. She works the exact same as Meat Boy, um, which is pretty cool, I guess. But it feels different for whatever reason. And I almost got that the first try. Jeez. Uh, she works the same as, as Meat Boy. She's pretty cool, but you can only use her in the Cotton Alley. And you don't have a choice in all the Cotton Alley. You have to use her, which kind of makes it suck. However, I am upset that there's not pink stuff that goes over all the saw blades whenever she dies still. I am, I am a fan of the pink stuff. Like, right there, shouldn't it? I'm doing this on purpose, by the way. I, I wish that it would spread pink stuff everywhere. However, Bandage Girl is available for you to use, but just in this world, which kind of makes it suck. With all the normal characters done, it is time to move on to some of the hidden characters in the game. For this one, I actually need to input a code here from this screen uh, in order to get the next character. Uh, the code is, on, you have to do this on a controller, and it works in all versions of the game. Uh, we'll start going over some of the differences later, uh, but I am on the Steam one. It doesn't matter if it's PC or uh, Xbox Live Arcade. You need a controller in order to unlock this character. It needs to be the right button, right button, right button, you know, RB, uh, B, 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 X. Did I not do that right? Push the button. There we go. R, B, B, R, B, R, B, R, B, 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 X. And that will give you push the buttons, which means that you have done it correctly. Now we can select Meat Boy, and we are playing as Brownie. Now Brownie works exactly the same as Meat Boy, except that he has a different, well, he has a different look to him. He looks angry when he moves, and there is shit everywhere. I like his eyes, though. I like his eyes. No, Brownie, what are you doing to my girlfriend? But that is Brownie. Uh, pretty cool that you can play as him, even though you need a controller in order to use him. However, if you're trying to play this game without a controller, well, you probably aren't getting very far, to be honest with you. I don't know how you can do this with a keyboard. Time to get the next unlockable character. Hidden character, I'm sure. For this next character, this only works on the Steam and PC versions. I actually need to type this on the keyboard here. Uh, we're going for P-E-T-A. P-H-I-L-E. Did I not type that? What the hell? Push the buttons! Yeah, there we go. Apparently, sometimes, whenever I want to do it on screen, I need to do it twice. Uh, that's the buttons that you need to push. P-T-A-F-I-L, like pedophile, except beta. And that should unlock... Tofu Boy! Uh, for those of you that don't know... Oh, God, he's so slow. He sucks! Freaking Tofu Boy! I can't even... Okay, this is, this is regular running, this is dashing. He cannot dash, this is Tofu Boy, he sucks. For those of you that don't know, uh, PETA kind of did a mini protest for the game, uh, saying that... Oh god, can I even make it? 
Oh, somehow I managed that. Uh, come on. Up oh, there we go. Tofu boy, I believe in you. Kind of. Uh, for those of you that don't know, PETA kind of did a protest about Meat Boy being made of meat. So they made their own game called Tofu Boy. So this is Super Meat Boy's way at getting back at PETA for the horrible things that they did to him, I guess. But, I mean, Tofu Boy sucks. There's really no reason to use him other than the fact that you're forced to. So let's go ahead and rescue the girl and get out of here. Yeah, he is useless. There's no point in using him ever unless it's like a challenge or something. But even then, it's impossible for a lot of things to do with him. I mean, even at top speed, I think I could possibly get through uh, this map in about 30 seconds. And it only takes me about five with Meat Boy. Seriously, Tofu Boy sucks. Now it is time for me to go over a bit of the differences in the versions of the game. There are three versions of the game. There's the PC version, there's the Steam version, and there's the Xbox Live Arcade version. Now everything that's in uh, the PC version more or less is in the Steam version, so I don't need to go over too much of the differences there, too many of those. However, the Xbox Live Arcade version does have different unlockable characters. For instance, if you collect 10 bandages, you get Gish from Gish. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know Gish, so um, I, I don't really know what he looks like, so I can't really comment on Gish. Uh, if for 50 bandages, you'll get Tim from Braid, which is awesome. Uh, you also For 70 bandages, you'll get Spelunky from Spelunky. Once again, I, I'm sorry I haven't played that game. Uh, 90 bandages will get you Pink Knight from Castle Crashers. I have seen that game. It seems to be kind of a fighting game, which is kind of cool, but I, once again, I have not played it. Uh, for 100 bandages, you'll get Ninja from N or N+, instead of the characters that you get that I've gotten here these guys. Uh, however, one of those characters I can get if I do put in the uh, code that I am going for. I'm going to put it in twice because I'm, I've had to put things in twice lately for whatever reason. Uh, what I'm putting in is O-U-T-T-A-T-I-M-E for out of time. Out of time. Uh, but it's not going to give you any sort of confirmation that you've t typed it in correctly. However, if I have done it right, we'll get Tim from Braid! How you doing, Tim? Tim is always dashing, and he works very, very nicely, I must say. Uh, he doesn't look like Tim at all to me, though. Uh, however, he does have a special ability as well, which is to reverse time to a certain point, which for him is right here. Very, very cool that he can reverse time. Boom, just head back the way that I came, and there we go. Quite an ability that we have with Tim. I wish I had him in this version of the game, and I probably could have used him uh, for quite a few times that I messed up, to be honest with you. But he finally gets the girl. Go, Tim! Tim is very, very cool, I must say. And now it's time to bring in the last character that we can get in this version of the game without doing some hacking, uh, which, to be honest, I'm not really willing to do. So, I need to type in another code here. Let's see if it works. I need to type it again twice. Why are they doing that to me? Push the button. There we go. I have typed in B-A-L-L-G-O-O. -L -L this only works if you have 10 uh, bandages already. And those of you that are saying ball goo... Wait, does that mean? It does. We have a goo ball from the world of goo. Now this guy is awesome. This guy can stick to walls uh, if we hold the dash button, which I am a big fan of doing. And then you let it go and he falls. Pretty cool. And as I'm sure you saw, if you hold down both buttons, you can stick to the ceiling. So we have the combination of the best aspects of Head crab and the best aspects of Super Meat Boy. Well, sorry, Meat Boy. In one thing, which is the Goo Ball. But as fun as he is, I felt kind of cheap uh, using him with this ability throughout the game. He, he has quite a few uses. He is one of my favorite characters to play as. Uh, but with this kind of stuff, it, it felt wrong. 
It felt wrong. I wanted to go through it as Meat Boy, and I was finally able to do it. Let's get the girl. We can move on. We can cover her in my black goo. And that is going to do it for this Let's Play. This has been Let's Play Super Meat Boy. Hope you guys have enjoyed the Let's Play. I know it's gone on a little bit longer than I'm sure you or me expected, but I hope you had fun nonetheless. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.